So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. I hope you guys are doing good today. Thank you to everybody who joined my live stream. You know, if you were able to catch it, great. If you had to catch it after the fact, that's great. I got a lot of stuff off these big ass titties, okay? And I feel good. Like I told you on Instagram, I slept well. My Fitbit said I got nine hours worth of sleep, so I feel good. I'm about to be cranking out these videos. I hope you guys have a lot of tea. So before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know, if you don't know, we started up Lovely News Network, um, so it's going to be back up and running. So if you're not subscribed over there, make sure you guys subscribe to that channel. We have about 200 and something thousand subscribers over there. Um, also hit the notification bell, so you can be down with the notification squad. I'm going to be dropping some videos on that channel today. So I'm going to be staying busy, just, you know, cranking out the tea, cranking out the videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep y'all busy. I'm going to keep y'all entertained. It's been two weeks, you know what I'm saying? I've been sick, down and out, going through a lot of stuff physically, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was, so it's time to make up for lost time, okay? So anyways, as promised, like I told you guys in my live stream, I want to talk about the LeVar Ball situation, okay? Now, I've been following this situation really closely. I remember when he started trending on Twitter, and I'm like, dang, what did LeVar Ball do now? only to find out that the NBA announced that they're now making a way for kids to go from high school into the G League and to get paid. And the most they can get paid is $125,000, which is a lot of money for a kid who's 18, okay? But the funny thing is, LeVar Ball literally started this idea over a year and a half ago. And what really bothers me with this situation is that when LeVar Ball started the JBA, the Junior Basketball Association, it was so many people who talked shit, who doubted him, who weren't in support, who were saying, you know, he's crazy, da 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 I was really surprised at, you know, Shannon Sharp, you know, because Shannon Sharp is supposed to be, you know, the pro-black, you know, the woke one out of all these sports casters, these sports commentators. You know, people always say that Jason Whitlock is the coon and Stephen A. Smith is somewhere in between. But I was really disappointed at Stephen A. Smith's stance and Shannon Sharp stands because they couldn't see the big picture of what LeVar Ball was trying to do. And from the time he announced the JBA, I respected it, regardless of why he chose to do it. Folks are like, oh, he's only doing that because, you know what I'm saying, Leandro got in trouble and he doesn't get along with LaMelo's coach. That's fine. Either way, it's something that he wanted to do. He got his investors. He put his money where his mouth was. And he started this league. You know what I mean? And people knocked this man from the time he tried to do that. The JBA was basically a league that he started to take, you know, high school prospects who did not want to go to college, who do not want to be under the NCAA's thumb. And I've made videos going in on the NCAA. I've drugged them for how they treat student athletes. You know what I mean? They promise you you're getting a free education all the while making millions of dollars off of these student athletes, okay? These coaches are living a trife life off of these students' backs. These kids can't even have YouTube channels. There's been YouTubers who have gotten their D1 scholarships revoked because they started making YouTube videos. Once you're in the sports program in any NCAA college, they own your likeness. You know what I'm saying? They can literally take your likeness and turn you into a video game character and make millions of dollars off of you, but you can't even get a job. You can't even get paid for anything you do with hopes of, you know, you might get signed and go to the NBA, which we all know is a slim chance. So even if you go through the whole four years, you're playing, you're one of the top, there's still a chance that you might not make it into the NBA. And then people say, oh, well, they're getting an education. But how many times have I done videos busting out the NCAA about those paper classes? It was a huge scandal in North Carolina where a lot of sports athletes were basically just being pushed through these fake ass classes, getting A's, not knowing anything. Some of these athletes could barely read at a fourth grade level and they're just getting pushed through because the main thing is to have them out there on the football field, on the basketball court, on the track field. They really don't care about these guys getting an education. So in the long run, these student athletes suffer, okay? So, I'm a, so I've always been against the NCAA. I don't care. I know some of you sports guys come for me, but whatever. That's my opinion, okay? If you like the NCAA, do you. 
I don't like them. I don't like how they roll. Shout out to Ben Simmons with his little cute self for always calling out the bullshit when it comes to the NCAA and all their hypocrisy and how they make so much money off of him. He's always been a well-spoken proponent of that. So much respect to that young man. So anyhow, you guys know how I feel about the NCAA. So when I see somebody else trying to come out the woodwork and trying to, you know what I'm saying, get a piece of that pie and make other ways for young athletes, because let's keep it real, some of these basketball players, to play basketball, you just really need to be skilled, okay? You need to know how to dribble and, you know, block and shoot and all that stuff. It's a skill, either you got it or you don't, okay? I don't have it. I don't, I, I'm not a good basketball player whatsoever. ever. That's not my league, okay? But I am a damn good YouTuber. So my thing is this. Um, so some of these kids, they don't really want to go to college. They're not really interested in a higher education. They really just want to play sports and get paid for it. They're trying to do their own version of one and done. As we all know, that's what the NBA has. You got to go to college for one year. You know what I'm saying? Then at that point, you can have a potential of going into the draft. Now, when we were growing up, you could get drafted out of high school. And then their whole stance was, well, no, we're not going to do any more drafting out of high school because 18-year-olds are not as mature as 25-year-olds and, you know, causes conflict but to me I always felt like that was bullshit I felt like the reason why they did that is because once again the NCAA was suffering you know when you're drafting some of the best people who should be going to college straight into the NBA it affects the NCAA's pocket one hand washes the other and that's that's what I get from the NBA and that's what I get from the NCAA and that's why they did that but then you have a black man trying to make a whole nother way for these kids to get into the NBA and circumvent the bullshit that the NCAA puts on these student athletes, which a majority, especially when you're talking about basketball, are black athletes. They're literally being pimped, okay? So he's trying to find an alternative way for them to play, make some money, and then still get them seen by recruiters and potentially be a part of the NBA draft. Once the NBA saw that, once the NBA CEO, Adam Silver, seen that, seen what LeVar Ball was trying to do, all of a sudden now, you know, his his back is against the wall. Are we going to let this black man come in with his JBA and make another potential and have the potential of stealing really, really good of stealing really good recruits, you know what I'm saying? Some of the nation's top basketball players, okay, out of the AAU and potentially bringing them to the JBA as opposed to letting them go to college, doing the whole one and done, because best believe the NBA gets a kickback from that shit, okay? Once they seen what LeVar Ball was trying to do, all of a sudden now the G League is now wanting to pay their players and give them an alternative to go to the NBA draft while allowing them to basically circumvent and surpass the whole NCAA because a lot of people are speaking out against the NCAA and their unfair practices. So there's a lot of nuances to this situation and it really pissed me off when I heard about that. And I just love how the media is so fake. It's so fake. You guys were the ones going in on LeVar Ball. Y'all was talking shit saying that his league would never make it, he'd never go anywhere. And then when the NBA basically takes his idea and runs with it, now the media is praising Adam Silver for doing the so-called right thing after LeVar Ball was trying to do the right thing. So let's go ahead and play a flashback, okay? I'm gonna show you guys some video footage, you know what I'm saying, from a few months ago when LeVar Ball was talking about doing this and how the sports media was definitely against this, how Shannon Sharp was throwing all types of shade. You know, Stephen A. Smith claimed that you know well I you know I, I'm not really feeling this you know is he really a good role model after all his son got caught doing a robbery and it wasn't a robbery it was shoplifting but he was trying to throw shade at LeVar Ball and you know basically say you know like morally is he the type of person to run this league and then what about these kids' education well what about their education when the NCAA has been caught numerous times doing paper classes and just pushing these guys through classes and you know making these teachers give them an A so that way they're still eligible to play in sports. I'm not saying that every college campus is doing this, but it's been a lot of big campuses involved in these paper classes. So for Stephen A. Smith to now be worried about these kids' education, you know, miss me with the bullshit, Stephen A., okay? So anyways, y'all go ahead and watch the responses that a lot of these, you know, media people had towards the JBA when it was starting its inception. Go ahead and check this out. The Junior Basketball Association, or JBA, was actually created created by the outspoken father of Lakers player Lonzo Ball. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Tina Patel is live in Ontario tonight with a look at the inaugural game tonight. Tina. 
Well, starting a new sports venture is risky. First, you have to get enough talent to field some teams and then get enough fan interest to fill some seats. But everyone we talk to seems hopeful that the JBA may be the next big thing. Lamelo Ball, the younger brother of the Lakers' Lonzo Ball, might be the one JBA player fans have heard of. But there are 63 other guys in this new league hoping that this is their chance to show their skills. This is my dream. This is my dream just to play basketball and not worry about nothing. This is a big opportunity, you know, not only for kids that come straight out of high school. You know, there's kids that when they don't go Division One to college, they think their dreams is over, and honestly, it's not. So I thank LeVar a lot for this opportunity. LeVar Ball knows a lot of people doubted him when he said he was going to create this league, but he says that's because they didn't understand what he was trying to do. I'm not competing with no G League. I'm not competing with no NCAA. I'm doing my own thing. Trying to create an opportunity for young men who might not have had the chances his sons have had, but do have the passion for the game. When you get a bunch of guys like this, a bunch of dogs all in one room, it's a, it's a beautiful product. Fans seem to be happy with what they're seeing so far. To me, it's innovative. It's, um, I like it. It's uh, showing, showcasing what the talent is, is the up-and-coming talent is going to provide us. They say it's about time players have another option. I believe it's a very exploitive system, the college system, forcing kids to play for free before they can play, chase their dreams. Golfers and tenor players and hockey players skip the college process all the time. Now we have to be honest, there wasn't a great crowd here tonight. There were still a lot of empty seats in the arena, but players we talked to are hopeful that as the season goes on, more fans will start to come. And of course, Jeff and Susie, you know LeVar Ball is never worried. He says he would never <laughs> have been able to create his big baller brand if he had listened to all those haters and doubters. Yeah, sure. But for some kids that want to be one and done, their dream is to play at Kansas, Duke, Kentucky, North Carolina, not play in your crappy league. Now, I wish you the best. I hope, I hope it's a success. Now, good luck trying to get NBA. <laughs> good luck trying to get NBA scouts to come see come see your guys, LeVar. This is something, obviously, that we have to look at it with some, some, some skepticism because the first question that I would have is where's the big baller getting the money from? Somebody with deep pockets behind the scenes is clearly willing to finance the big baller brand because how could you afford to pay somebody $10,000 per month? Some of the marquee guys, I'd like to see you pull that off. Well, some people will look at stuff like that and then wonder why should a kid straight out of high school be associated with your brand? These are the kind of questions. So it comes down to how he's going to conduct himself, how he's going to conduct business. What is he going to do to facilitate growth? Because it's one thing to give folks $10,000, or you know, which is only some of them. It's another thing entirely to leave them ill-prepared for the real world when it comes to paying bills and doing what you got to do to elevate your stuff and your quality of life. What is he doing to assist in that regard when you're talking about financing young kids? All of Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what those fellas had to say. You guys also saw the news report. And I love how they threw the shade at the end time. I, well, you know, it wasn't really a packed crowd. There weren't a lot of folks here. That was literally like when he was first getting off the ground, okay? Now, a lot of their games that they've been playing with the JBA, um, it's pulled a lot of people in. You know, a lot of people like watching the JBA. So, you know, I just find this really interesting. So, a lot of folks were saying this. A lot of folks were calling out the NBA. A lot of folks were calling out Adam Silver. A lot of folks were calling out the media. And it's really funny now how, like, you know, this is such a good idea and everybody's praising the NBA. But when this black man was literally, you know, basically forcing their backs against the wall, like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to find an alternative way to help these kids who want to get into the NBA, including his own sons. Let's keep it real. It was definitely self-serving. OK, but that's all right. Um they were against it, but now the sudden now they're gonna take his whole model and run with it. Now since then, I've been waiting for Lavar Ball to do an interview to talk, cause you know he he does not shut his mouth. Lavar Ball always has something to say, but strangely enough, he's been really quiet. So I'm assuming he will do a press run eventually, and he'll probably say a lot of the same things I said in this video. Well, he'll be blasting them for their hypocrisy and for basically taking his idea. Okay. Now his son Lonzo Ball did you know slightly address the situation when he heard about the new you know. G League's rules and he basically said the same thing like damn 
is, is this the JBA all over again? So that's what Lonzo Ball had to say about the situation. But like I said, I don't care about Lonzo's opinion. I want to hear from the damn father. I want to hear from LeVar Ball. I want to hear what he thinks about this foolishness. You know, at the end of the day, is the JBA perfect? No, it's not. You know, there's been people saying that they want, you know, they're taking these kids' jersey sales and, you know, they have high percentages. But again, they have to start somewhere. And at the end of the day, I have to give LeVar Ball his props because he does not have a worker mentality. He has a boss mentality. And he's always trying to find different ways to eat and create some type of generational wealth for his family. And at the end of the day, he's a great businessman and he's a great marketer. Love him or hate him, but all the noise he created... All the shit that he started, you know what I'm saying? All the fanfare and, and, and all the branding that he did for Lonzo. At the end of the day, he got Lonzo playing for the LA Lakers. You know what I'm saying? So his mission was done. It was accomplished. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. But, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad that the G League is doing this. I think it's cool that they're doing it. But I'm kind of disappointed that they're trying to act like this is their own idea. And now people are, you know, trying to act like LeVar Bob wasn't doing it first. But I'm always glad to see other ways for young men to get into the NBA and to make money off of their talents. Because at the end of the day, it's these young guys who are putting their bodies on the line, you know, their brains, especially when you're talking about football and CTE, which I've addressed in previous videos. It's their bodies being put on the line. So why shouldn't they be compensated for that? Why should the coaches who don't have to be out there taking the hits, they don't have to be out there potentially breaking their ankles, you know what I'm saying? They're basically sitting, you know, on the hog, they're comfortable, they're not feeling no pressures, no strains, except to, you know, to win, and these boys are the ones putting their bodies on the line, they should very well be compensated. I've always been, you know, for college athletes getting paid, because they do the same thing, they put their body through the same stress, they go through the same, you know, everything as a lot of players in the NBA. Should they be getting, you know, LeBron James contracts? No, of course not, but I don't care, even if you pay them, you know, two, three thousand dollars a month give them something there's no reason that these college athletes should be sitting here eating top ramen and then their coaches are eating filet mignon and you know lobster tails every night that's not cool there's no reason that young college athletes should be out here getting caught selling drugs because they have no money you know what I'm saying? They're getting caught taking money under the table because of these bullshit ass rules. And everybody knows that these rules are so unfair. But again, it's about the top making the money and then leaving these young black kids who are from the hood to just be appreciative that they're on a college campus. Well, by that logic, should these coaches not just be appreciative to be coaching these people? No, you can't eat appreciation. You know what I mean? You got bills to pay, family members to take care of and everything else. So they shouldn't just be appreciative of getting a soul called free education there should be some perks with that because they're putting in the work it's no different than you know people getting a band scholarship or a dance scholarship to college they're still allowed to work they're still allowed to you know create their own brand and, and use their likeness in any way that they want to but when it comes to the student athletes when you tell them they can't do the same thing that anybody else who's down a scholarship can do in any other program I see a double standard it's about money at the end of the day so you know kudos to LeVar Ball for thanking outside the box for trying to make a, a different way you know just like with Ice Cube with the three on three you know he did the damn thing they have monopolies on all of this stuff and when they see other folks trying to come up and trying to find ways to circumvent and make some money for themselves they automatically feel some type of way and if this is not proof then I don't know what else to show you guys, okay? So anyways, y'all, that's my rant on the whole LeVar Ball situation. Y'all know I get excited when it comes to sports, so sorry if I got a little bit hype, but I don't care, you know what I mean? I stand by all my videos. I'm not a fan of the NCAA because of what they do to these guys in sports. It's not okay. These student athletes, they put in the work, they put in the time, they put in the dedication. They should be paid for that, especially when people are making millions and millions of dollars off of their image and off of their likeness in jersey sales and, you know, jacket sales, video games, things like that. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning LeVar Ball and how basically the NBA took his model and basically played him. You know, when he came up with it, everybody was talking shit and downing him. And then fast forward a year later, all of a sudden, you know, Adam Silver gets a brilliant idea and decides to start playing people in the damn G League. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. <laughs>
<laughs> let me stop talking about this topic because I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.